leadership I would like to invite at the stage. Stephen Gwani from Tembisa Secondary School and Lokesh Nipile from FNB. Thank you. So the, this partnership had me in stitches a lot of the time. <laughs> they, they, they just had a way of, when they were reflecting on their experiences, whenever we met, either as a, as a partnership or um, as just a conversation between myself and Lokeshni. Um, and, and I don't want to take away from that because I think I want you to experience it for yourselves. One of the key things though that I really just want to highlight about this partnership is that when we had our COP and visited uh, Stephen's school, I think we didn't um, anticipate the impact of being in that environment and really <coughs> connecting with the challenges that principals have to uh, operate under. Uh, Stephen, I'm going to let you speak a little bit about that. One of the things about Stephen is that he just has, he has a way, and I think both of you actually, Lokeshni, if I think about yourselves in the partnership, um, there was something about your partnership that just pulled at her hearts. Um, and, and, and I think it speaks to, to the quality of commitment and respect that we saw between the two of you. And um, one thing I didn't mention about Stephen's school, even though there are all these challenges, we have the provincial champs. So the learners that you saw singing here earlier are our provincial champs. And I've been told there's going to be a CD soon. No pressure, Stephen. <laughs> Over to you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for gracing us with our, your presence today. Um, so I'm quite a nervous speaker, and I'm glad I have my partner here <laughs> just to guide me along the way. And um, everything that I had practiced in the car uh, to say uh, just went out the window. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is speak from the heart. So as I was driving from Santon through Alex, into, onto the highway, <laughs> getting into Van Buren. I thought about every journey to our community of practice meeting. Mm -hmm. So when I'd leave the office, people would say to me, where are you going? So I'd say, I'm going to my Narcotics Anonymous session. And people were like, what? I said, no, all of us used to sit around in a circle and we used to talk about our feelings. And I don't understand why we need to do that. But it was the most amazing, refreshing experience of my life. Um, also, I'd like to talk about kindness, uh, respect, honesty, integrity, uh, strategy, tactics, project management. That's all that I have received and more during my partnership, not just with Stephen or Nonfuso, but with my team as a whole. Um, you know, when I was on my way to Stephen's school uh, for my first meeting, uh, my car broke down and this police officer stopped me and uh, was stopped by and he says, oh, just by the way, Ivory Park's a very dangerous area, so they're going to rob you, kill you, and then steal your car. And then he drives away. And then people come to help me and then I'm panicked and I'm like, no, no, I'm fine. I'm going to be okay. And then I found Stephen. I'm like, Stephen, you need to come and get me now, please. I'm really scared. Then the next person I called was my friend Ben. So he dropped whatever he was doing and he came to get me. And those were my two nights in shining armor because it was my safety, even though I was, I was not harmed in any way. Um, but it's the fact that they didn't really, Stephen didn't really know me, but he came through for me. And you know, whilst he picked me up and waited for Ben to come and get my car, um, Stephen says, oh, my mom lives around the corner. And then I chirped, Oh, well, let's go visit your mom in my state of panic. So we went to visit his mom. And I sat there and I saw an ashtray on the table and I'm thinking, hmm, I wonder if there's another person that lives here. And I almost said to the auntie, please can I have a cigarette? 
but I didn't because I said, well, what would my mom say? Um, you know, I'm thankful for, for Stephen for inviting me to his school governing body meetings, introducing me to the parents, you know. Um, Stephen is not just there from Monday to Friday, he's there on weekends. He's, he's, he's dedicated, he, he's always got a smile on his face, nothing. Um, nothing puts him down and I, I feel he's beaten the odds. But lastly, for my side, um, I'd like to say that uh, my, uh, my fellow business partners and school principals, you have been amazing. Every single person, you're different in so many ways, but I have learned so much from each person. And um, I'm not just leaving behind you know, business partners or, or principals. I feel like I'm leaving home for the first time. And it's really, really scary. Um, but I am feeling very blessed and very fortunate that First Run give, gave me this opportunity to be here and, and to share in this experience. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to our journey together in 2019. So before I take up all the airtime, I'm going to hand over to the most important man during this journey. Thank you very much to my business partner. And um, seated here, we as a partnership also want to say thank you very much for coming and honoring uh, our invitation. Uh, it's much, uh, much appreciated. Um, I've also brought along my IDSO. Melvin was saying, there's no IDSO, yeah, there is one. Uh, Mr. Mpahane, can you just wave? That is my idea. Oh, I would draw my words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, and next to him, it's, it's my deputy principal, Mr. Malinga. It, it was a very, very difficult and, and a tough journey uh, for me as a principal. Uh, I went through all the levels uh, in education. I was a teacher, became an HOD, became a deputy principal, and currently a principal in different schools. A teacher in one school, HOD in another, deputy principal in another, and principal in another school. Very, very challenging. And there is this phrase that I like um, the most. Um, that says, um, if you want to avoid criticism, say nothing, do nothing, and be nothing, and don't become a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that is why I became a teacher. Uh, I became a teacher because I wanted to make my community mad. And uh, math in this case means as in making a difference. So I'm making them mad uh, in that sense. Um, I joined Tembisa High School um, last year in May. And uh, there's a lady called Carol uh, in Partners for Possibility. She came visit me whilst I was a deputy principal at Winnie Mandela Secondary School. And uh, my principal is a, is a union member, is a provincial chairperson uh, of SADU. Then she said to me, uh, we only deal with principals, we don't deal with deputy principals. I said, but I'm eager to join and be part of Partners for Possibility. She said to me, wait for your turn. And, and, and I waited for my turn, and my turn came in last year in May. Uh, and, and when she came to Tembisa High, she didn't know that she was going to find me there. Uh, as she was entering the door, she then said, I know you from somewhere. I said, yes, uh, it's Winnie Mandela. Now I'm joining Partners for Possibility. She said, but you are, you are, you are not even hardly a year. Uh, in, in this position, and we need principals that have been there, 
done that and they know um, the, 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 the school environment. I said, but I need to understand also and, and, and uh, um, pick the bull by its horns. Then she said, no, I will try and motivate for you so that you can join. Uh, I joined uh, Partners for Possibility. Uh, and the reason for that was that uh, I'm in a school where we are now sitting with uh, 2,650 learners in the school. Um, yo, you know this time. <laughs> yeah, you know with teachers, it's the teacher's uh, uh, voice and, and, and explanation. So in this partnership, I've got two minutes. In this partnership, uh, we, we toyed. We looked for sponsorships. And uh, fortunately, we got two because we have identified challenges that we experienced as the school. Um, one of them was infrastructure. So we wrote letters to Coca-Cola. We wrote letters to First Rand. Coca-Cola came to the party. And during the 9th of um, July, they came to the school and uh, refurbished about seven classes. And they spent uh, 450000 uh, to refurbish the school. And on that particular day, we were also blessed. We were joined by the MEC uh, of Education uh, to come and bless uh, the occasion. Uh, and also, first rent. First rent, they donated 25,000. And with that 25,000, we are currently fixing ceiling uh, in some of the classes uh, because of the large numbers that we have. Because Timbisa High, it's a school that was, that was built in 1965. So you can imagine since, that, since then, um, the, there was no um, refurbishment that was done uh, for the school. And the school was also blessed because we've got prominent leaders that are coming from that school. Uh, Advocate Nwako Ramaklodi is coming from that school. Uh, Skumba, who is a comedian uh, currently on SABC1, is coming from that school. Um, the former spokesperson uh, of former president Tabum Begi, uh, Mr. Begi Kumalo, is also coming from uh, that school. So the list is endless. Um, I also want to take this opportunity and thank uh, Ben, uh, who has been there uh, with us through this journey. Uh, ben, can you wave so that they see? There's Ben, and also the learning circle, uh, I will miss you. I will miss you, and thank you also to Sisnom Fuzo. Uh, you have been a blessing uh, to this circle, and we are blessed to have you, and we are also going to miss you as a circle as well. And also thank you to Partners for Possibility for giving us this opportunity to learn. Thank you.